Greetings, people of Shiloh. It's good to see you again this week and be present with you. I've been listening to a scripture on the book of Jeremiah from the Bible, um, pushing and challenging and asking of all the injustices happening during COVID-19, the challenges facing people in different areas of our country. And we know that people are suffering in our own community. Economically, they're suffering. There's questions about going back to work and safety still. There's questions of what happens as Montana opens up and areas around us have higher infection rates. There's a lot to consider. And we need to recognize something. There's going to be fundamental changes in how we live after this, right? Like nothing can be the same after something quite like this. We are going to have to face that reality. But one of the blessings is, is just outside of the frame of our lives, God is still with us. God is there present with us and God will be with us. God is inviting us into the future. You'll see behind me the space where I've spent a lot of time with many of you over the last month um, in Zoom calls and Saturday Communion and uh, last Thursday or the, yesterday evening actually, uh, Wednesday evening, I invited four people to join our church through Zoom sitting in this place. Additionally, I've also done a lot of thought and prayer in this place. And you'll see behind me the word enthusiasm, a word that has been true to me. We are coming to a time where, just like enthusiasm, we will be filled with the spirit. And theos is the Greek in enthusiasm. And I want to ask us all this question as we continue ahead. How are we being called to be the church right now? We are each individually called. The church doesn't just provide for us. We are called by Jesus to make a difference in our community, to see where there's challenges and address them and find ways for all people to be respected as people of God. How are we going to do that moving ahead? As a community of faith, that we're going to do things differently this summer. Our church council met a week ago and we uh, talked through and prayed about and looked at what we might do this summer. Recognizing that many in our community, especially, uh, find themselves still in that vulnerable population even as we move into phase two, and that worship in our sanctuary as a large group may still be a big risk. We recognize Montana's done a great job, and we do not have high infection rates for COVID-19, but we also recognize that there's still challenges there. And so this summer, we're, we're going to old school. We're going back to the way the Methodist Church formed. We're going to be looking at doing worship in a new way. We'll be recording online worship. We'll be providing it that way. We'll be having some parking lot worship where you can drive in and listen on an FM stereo. The first one will be May 31st at the church. Or you can sit on the lawn and listen, but be spaced out in fresh air from people and be able to wave at them. And we'll be doing small groups this summer. Small groups where we gather together and pray together and get to know each other and hear a message of God's word connected to the sermon from the week and share with each other where we're at. Small groups is how our church started. It's how all the churches of the past have started. People who are a small group who care about God's message of love being shared in the community. So people of Shiloh, I invite you to read the prophets now and to see where God is calling to us and to trust the Holy Spirit as we go into the coming weeks. And know that you are blessed, that your God is with you in each and every step, and that we are with you and we will move together too, to find ways to share the gospel in our community, to grow together, and to let people know that God loves us all, that Jesus walks with us, and the Holy Spirit fills us with that energy, that enthusiasm, that drive to make the world more like the kingdom of God. We hope to see you this Sunday in online worship at 10.30 a.m. on Facebook or on YouTube. And as always, be in touch. Let us know you're there and know that we are with you just outside the frame.